is this in the shot or is it good? That's good. That's good? You're good. They, they want to get free marketing, you know? That's right. You're not a Pepsi guy? Uh, not really. Just water. All right, Hayden Buckley, two under 68. Can you talk us through your round today, Hayden? Yeah, I mean, it was nice. It was kind of nice being out early. You know, I could tell the wind was going to be calm for the first few holes. That back nine, uh, you know, a couple pretty tough holes. Um, you know, I didn't really didn't really get off to a hot start, but I think out here even par is, is a lot better than most weeks. And uh, turning it even par, one you know, one little slip up on, on 17, kind of a shorter hole that uh, found my ball over the bleachers, which wasn't great. But, uh, you know, I hit a lot of fairways, hit a lot of greens, and had some looks. That's kind of my the way I've been playing for the last, really the last few months, just haven't put it all together. And, you know, a big putter change this week, I think really got me comfortable early. Um, my speed was pretty good all day too. So, you know, I think if my ball was in the fairway off the tee, which it was, I think the majority of the time, uh, it was it was pretty pretty easy pars and great looks at birdies. So it was, you know, not the easiest round out there. They're late, I don't, I don't think, but, um, you know, it's just, I like to hit a lot of fairways and hopefully I can keep doing that. Yeah, and how, how did the course play today compared to the practice rounds? Uh, completely different wins. I, I think there, I had some notes in my book that, you know, certain holes I was hitting different clubs on Monday, and now it's a completely switched win. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's hard. I think practice rounds, I'm, I'm a little bit different. I think everybody kind of is. I don't know if it's, you know, it's, it's early in the week and I'm still a little sore from last week or, uh, you know, or, or I'm a little more focused during the tournament. But... Everything's always a little bit different, but the greens were pretty consistent. I think late yesterday they were rolling pretty fast, and this morning, you know, it's tough when it's early. I think the ball is, the ball rolls a little bit slower on those greens, but they were perfect. So um, it's going to get a little bumpy, a little windy out there late. That's just kind of how it is, and, you know, I'll deal with that tomorrow. Yeah, and you obviously put yourself in good position after one round. What are you going to have to do the rest of this week to replicate that? I think just hit a lot of fairways. I mean, I was very impressed with the iron play. I think I made, you know, two birdies on par threes and, and missed a, a 10 footer for birdie on another one. So uh, the long iron play was there. If I can put the ball in play off the tee, it's, you know, it should give me good chances. I, I kind of been working hard on course strategy and kind of knowing where to hit shots and when to hit them. And um, that was kind of a recent, a recent development the last few weeks that has turned into a strength. So uh, I think if the ball's in the fairway, it's a great chance to shoot low scores. Over here to your left. The um, playoff, on Tuesday morning at the qualifier, could you talk through kind of the process of what, how you spent the night waiting for that and what was in your mind and then getting through? I mean, I think we walked off the course at 9 o'clock that night and, and had to wake up again. You know, I don't know what it is with 4 a.m. wake-ups, but had to wake up again early and get out there at 7.30. And, uh, you know, I knew a five-for-one playoff isn't ideal, but, you know, really the way I played in the qualifier, I thought I was lucky to be in a playoff at five under. Uh, I really thought six or seven would be the number, but... Um, you know, showed up out there and, and hit one really close on the first hole and made birdie and kind of knew at that point, there's still two of us left, but I knew at that point we were pretty much in and, you know, made a long putt on the on the second playoff hole and kind of locked it up again, which was nice. You know, I've had a couple off weeks with a lot of missed cuts the last few weeks. Um, so, you know, getting another chance to play, I've been figuring out a few things. And, you know, like I said, with my putter change this week, uh, it's just kind of been a week by week, small change. Um, that everything's finally coming together. So you know, it was nice to just, it, but it was nice to see, you know, with my playoff record, you know, from the Corn Ferry and from Canada, it was nice to have that opportunity again. In the putter change, what did you change to? Was it a different style of putter? Yeah, I went from a blade to kind of a half mallet, switched the grip. It's kind of, it, the grip's on yeah. sideways. Did and you have trouble getting I actually the switched here, my, my grip as well. So uh, I kind of went just completely different from what I've been doing and it worked. So. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of ride it out, hopefully, the rest of the year. What grip now are you using? What type of grip? Uh, it's just a super stroke, and it's just turned sideways. So you look at it, it looks like somebody messed it up. But, um, you know, it took a day or two to get used to it, but I love it. So. All right. Thank you. Thanks.